Uh, Bumblebee reporting for duty. You're late again. Autobots, transform! Welcome back to the Tigerium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the Magic Square MS B21EX Intelligence Officer. This is a painted, EX painted version of the Magic Square Bumblebee. It's a very G1-esque Bumblebee for the legend scale, and it looks pretty good. I'm going to tell you the good and the bad and the plus and the minuses. But i got to be honest, I had to fight really hard to find the negatives in this thing, hint, hint, but uh, I did get this at Showzy. I'm going to have a link down below to Showzy's store for this figure, and I'm going to talk about the pluses and the minuses coming up. Here's the box, and I think the first box was like a black box, and this has G1-esque look to it. I really do like that, with a grid and all of that, and here is, it's kind of, I guess, a background scene. Maybe you can put him in front of that background scene. So oh, there he is, out and driving around in the country. I don't know, but there it is. Decent box overall, gets the job done. Looks very G1, lots of fun. Now look at this guy, we have seen this mold before, but we haven't seen this mold with this level of paint. I'm going to try to get the glare on it, so uh, I think that's really how this uh, this figure does shine in the paint department. And I've got to say that I've seen painted figures from Magic Square that just look like an orange pill paint job, which this is really nice. This is a really nice paint job, I think it looks very good. If I can get in on the head, the head's painted. I think the head's painted and looks better than the original one. So uh, everything is improved on this paint-wise from the original. And then it's just pretty much anything that's yellow is painted, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know if they did paint the kind of the grayish, dark gray stuff, but it looks like it has a shine or a sheen to it. And I think they did because of the fact that every joint is tighter. So because they have paint on it, every joint's tighter. They didn't change the tolerances. They didn't use a new mold. There's just a, a microscopic layer of paint, which is kind of the same thing that you do with the polish trick if you want your joints to be tighter. So anyhow, this is how he looks. I think he looks fantastic. We are going to do comparisons and stuff, but I guess I'm going to show articulation next. Getting into the head side to side and a little, is it a little bit up and down? I don't really get much up and down out of that uh, shoulder out to here. And I have to say, this is very satisfying with it being just so, the nice tightness is satisfying. It's almost a little scary at first, but then uh, if you look at that glisten, even on that right there, we have the elbow and we have the thigh articulation, really not thigh, bicep swivel. Uh, we've got a little bit in the hand right there, whatever would be needed. And it's not a double, but it goes way past the 90 right here. Now we don't have an ab crunch, but we have a waist swivel and you can have a reverse ab crunch which actually kind of makes sense for this a smaller character to be able to look up a bit now that's just part of the transformation so you have to slightly untransform it to get that now you do have all the way and this is tight all the way to the front to the 90 to the back about to the 90 and then out like this and as the more you play with it the, the looser he's going to get which i'm trying not to make him too loose i like a tight figure i do like a tight figure um, we have, it's a double joint, is it a double joint on this? So we should be able to get more out of it than that, like all the way to the 90, but I'm not really gonna press it that hard because uh, I don't really need that much. And then you have the ankle rocker and a little bit up and down. It feels like a little bit up and down. It's been a little bit while since I've done articulation on this guy, but uh, you definitely get the ankle rocker, but a lot packed into this little $26 figure. Uh, I feel like he's kind of worth the 26 bucks into his accessories he does have this gun and it's the same gun except now it's painted yellow but it's a different yellow than the rest of him I, I don't know how to explain that it just looks like a slight like a mustard instead of him which on the screen he looks brighter yellow he is more of a a little bit closer to the orange in real life than what i'm seeing on my screen but i won't know until editing exactly how the colors come out but this is a little yellower than bumblebee for the gun so it'll be interesting to see if that shows up also i didn't notice but you kind of see like a reflective blue on the back of his head and on there that's pretty cool for those of you who played this game before with magic square you get eight of these do-it-yourself please put these on yourself tires which i'm fine with that and we have a card which looks very g1-esque and it shows you the ex and it's got a little sleeve too so it's interesting stuff but that's really it for accessories 
Now, the first comparison I think that most people want to see, and that is the comparison to the original version, and it's the original intelligence officer. And looking at them side by side, you can see a much more brilliant, brighter color of yellow and uh, shine. And if you can't see the shine, well, there it is. So uh, now, did I think that the first one was bad? No. Did I think the first one had some opportunities? Like uh, if I can get the focus on both of these faces at the same time. Uh, I really felt like the face was an opportunity aside from kind of a flat looking yellow and this is more vibrant and I you never know with Magic Square are they going to do an EX version a, a nice well painted recolored version and I'm glad they did with this character but something they, they haven't yet so anyhow uh, looking at them right there you can see the difference in the colors of their gun the original one came with a gray or silver and this one has the yellow and then uh going on down you can see what kind of a flat gray looks like versus I th i'm pretty sure that they uh did paint this because it's got more of a sheen to it and it looks like a little bit better and then from the back this is how they look and just just every aspect of it like this is kind of a flat blue which is a little bit kind of cheap looking and boring and then this looks more premium and if i can just kind of turn them a little bit maybe i can get the light to pick up on it but uh, yeah, I mean, the first one's not bad, but I did say, hey, I wish I had this, but with the new age level of paint, and we have that now, and you just had to either skip him and hope another one came out, or roll, <laughs> rolling the dice, or buy both. So I've got two new age figures here for comparison, so this actually works okay for me as a mini, but I really kind of think Beachcomber should be a little taller, though. Uh, Beachcomber should be taller, in my opinion, than Bumblebee, but uh, it it's, is what it is. This guy could stand to be a little taller too, but he is considered a mini-bot. Anyway, uh, I'm not really looking at that as much as I'm looking at the glistening of the paints and just kind of, is this on New Age level of paint? And I believe so. I really think it is. And, you know, another one of the things is I don't think it's so much the Magic Square or New Age. It is the factory and them willing to pay for the parts to get painted. I, I really think that's really what it comes down to. So I don't think it's Magic Square saying we 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 don't know how to paint our figures and New Age just absolutely knows how to paint figures. I think it is just an option you check at the factory and it's gonna add, you know, it's eight cents or twenty seven cents to figure or whatever, dollar fifty to the figure. But anyhow, that's how that looks. So I want to show them next to the EX version of Prime and I think that the EX Prime is what really sold me on knowing that Magic Square will put out products with a proper paint job because this guy does have a proper paint job and you can see the glistening in it. And and you may think the whole video you're talking about the paint, but that's really the only thing that makes this stand apart aside from just I liked the mold in the first place. But uh, looking at it right there, I mean, this feels premium. This feels like a shrunken down masterpiece now. In the other version of this did kind of look like a cheaper toy and now all of this feels premium not a lick of die cast in it but feels and looks more premium with the added paint and the joints here's a nice group shot it's all magic square except these two i believe i gotta go recheck i guess but i'm starting to wonder if they're going to put this guy in uh it's a gears and uh is it wind charger if they're going to put those out again in the EX, uh, will they put Jazz out in the EX? Are they going to put uh, Huffer out in the EX? I, I just don't know. I'm curious about all of that, but here we go. I mean, I think this might have been their EX attempt at Huffer, but anyhow, that's how they look as a team. All right, now for transformation, we are going to flip this around, and then we're going to come over here and untab his heel from the inside, move it around, and then fold out the wheel and you will have to put that tire on so if this is your first time then put the tire on tuck in this tab right here so that you have clearance to fold this over and all that mechanism and stuff folds over into it same thing on the other side so untab this right here and fold it out bring the tire out and wheel and of course I will probably have to make sure these are all straight on there and then we'll tuck this tab in fold this piece out tab all of this together and when you tab it together you're kind of slotting it from bottom up and then make sure that's all kind of straightened out sort of straightened out 
and then we're going to get into the top part here where you okay so from here we're going to fold all of this up fold this part of the hood out fold these wheels down and I'll put the tires on here in just a bit and then leave this piece out a bit so that we can rotate it around real well and all that kind of good stuff so we are going to fold this and now these joints are tighter than the first one that I did so we're gonna fold this around and it's gonna go inside here and then we have to uh, adjust this piece around to where we have the hood so this is the hood piece all right it's been a while I want the, the orientation to be like this and then you need to have the decorative piece of the hood showing up like so so you gotta kind of have the inside of the shoulder uh, right there and that's really simple I don't know why I'm making it too hard here but uh, so we're gonna fold this part here over this joint comes over and then we fold the that to the inside yeah I don't know why I keep making that so hard like it's a big deal or something it's not it's quite simple quite simple and then plug everything in That's plugged in, and then this one needs to get plugged in. There it goes, it's snapped in place. Now we are going to fold this around and clear everything. Tighten this piece here up, and then we're gonna fold this down into this cavity that's in the front. So the hands go into the cavity up here, and then this clicks into the back, and then everything tabs in tight, and it'll just all kind of come together so it should all right just kind of tabbing it all together here this tabs on the bottom like so probably much easier to do if you're not trying to do it through a camera lens there's a lot of things that are less fun to do through the camera lens I think transforming a transformer is one of those and if you could list five more down below that'd be fun and here we go and I'm gonna have to put the tires on the rest of this and we can have a look at it fold this uh, it was already down right Is it down you want it in the down mode or do you want it in the up mode so I think that's about right anyhow let me get the tires on and we'll have a look at it okay so here it is in the alt mode and I've got to say when I try to think of what are my negatives for this I think a negative would be I'm not a huge fan of the alt mode entirely it's okay it's just not great I don't like the completely flat front windshield uh, a little like a little more angle to that but maybe that's correct and then uh, I mean it looks like a VW bug sort of yeah I guess it does I guess it looks like it the more I look at it but just feels like something's a little bit off to it but it's not bad it's not horrible and they are going for more G1 cartoon than some of the other iterations I've seen in the past and so I do kind of like that and so with that it does have that vac metalized well it's not really vac metalized but uh, metallic windows blue that looks good it's got silver for the rims rubber tires if you can get them on there just right like take the time it will this thing will roll like a champ but it's not uh i can't get them on there just right so yeah you know, there it is oh i guess that one was messed up and it looks pretty good from all angles for the most part uh now with this back piece here i think you could do it either way but i think it makes more sense down and uh it was packed down so uh in the bot mode i think it's supposed to be up higher but it, it doesn't really matter to me it's not a concern or a problem or a bother but let's get into comparisons with this in the alt mode so here this is next to the new age 1.0 i think it's a ko something along those lines but anyhow uh i think the new age 1.0 actually looks more like a bug to me for whatever reason and it's got the same kind of issues with its feet but there it is. I this blows that out of the water in robot mode, though. Here he is next to a G1, and see, and and it's, to me, I look at the G1 when it comes to alt modes, and that's what it should look like, in my opinion. So as you can see, I think there's a little more slope to that windshield, so the penny racer kind of look to it. So that's kind of what I look forward to. Here he is with a slew of other wacky things: Magic Square, Magic Square, oh, Magic Square, yeah, Magic Square and uh, New Age, and then is it Iron Trans? Iron Trans? Is that right? I think that is. Anyway, no, this is 
Iron Factory. And then this is the McFans Toys Blitzwing, their own original design, and I think it looks good. I guess I should put these up on it, so yeah, that's a nice comparison. So this is my look at the MSB21EX Bumblebee Legends G1 from Magic Square, and it it looks great. I think that the paint is fantastic. We're getting the best of both worlds. We're getting the Magic Square designs that I prefer the designs, the way they go with it, even if sometimes the transformations aren't the best. But I, I also prefer New Age paint job, and I've always wanted the mix of the two. I feel like we sort of got it with the Optimus Prime. I feel like we're definitely getting it with this. And so, you know, my two downsides is that it is show, sold out at Shozy. Sold out at Shozy. Uh, I checked, so I have the link, and made sure I just checked up on some information, and it was sold out. And it sold out pretty quick. And I have to admit that it's a very good figure for a very good price. And I'm guessing they don't make as many for the second go-around as they did for the first run of it. So... It would probably be a little harder to get, so I'll remember that for the EXs going forward. But uh, I, the other negative, I don't think the alt mode is the greatest. It could have been better, but I definitely don't put them in alt mode. And it give you kind of incentive to pick up the new age for the alt mode, I guess. But aside from that, uh, the paint adds to the stiffness of the joints to make it a little bit stronger and more... Uh, I guess you can get better poses out of it and it'll hold better because he is more sturdy with that. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you pick this one up and were you waiting on some reviews to see if you wanted to go with it? Was it worth picking up? I actually think it's actually worth getting even if you have the first one. But like, subscribe, turn your hanger out. Come on, let's go inside. Okay, guys, let's haul cylinders! <laughs> <laughs>